All right, folks, this is Joe Embriano, and once again, we're in a lot of trouble. You know, I don't know why people seem to think it's okay to let them get irradiated. I don't understand what's the matter with you people. Do you think these systems that they're putting up on these towers are there so you can watch Netflix and play video games on your phone while you're taking a dump? Do you not realize what is in store for people right now? Do you realize what they're doing with this stuff? Do you realize what this stuff does? These towers are weaponry. These systems are weaponized. I'm going to go over a couple things with you. I've gone over a lot of things in the past, but I'm going to keep hitting on this because it's not sinking in. Most people are in a trance. Most people are zombies. Most people are self-absorbed, myopic children, even though they're 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, even 80 years old. They just want to go and stare at the TV and cuddle up with their little blankie and stay on their merry-go-round and microwave their hot pockets. Folks, we are being herded into the compact cities and they're putting the towers in. Now they're going to be putting in the microcells instead of these huge towers that are already in place with power generating systems the size of shipping containers next to them, with cables four to five inches in diameter capable of handling hundreds of thousands of volts, what, for five watts of power? Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. What's coming is a kill grid. Make no bones about it. These people, tell your kids we're overpopulated. These people that run things, like Mr. Gates, Prince Philip, Mr. Rockefeller, the Rothschilds, all these people talk about how to reduce the population to 95% down from what it is right now. We are in the midst of a silent war. They're not going to fire a shot, folks. They're going to cook you. And they're going to do it with invisible radio frequency emissions that you're addicted to and in love with because your junk works no matter where you go. You got to have your texts, you got to have your emails, you got to check your Facebook. Look, I know. I'm a salesman. I'm on the road. I'm in the field. I'm in the office. I need to be in touch with people. People need to be in touch with me. I'm a researcher. I'm an activist. I need to be in touch with people. People need to be in touch with me. But at what cost? Now, the frequencies that they're deploying are weaponized frequencies. And I'm going to explain this to you. Right now, the Wi-Fi in your house is 2.4 gigahertz. That's the frequency that that stuff broadcasts on. Now, you can't open up a radio station without an FCC license. You've got to have a license to broadcast, and you've got to be given access to certain frequencies to broadcast on. That's called spectrum. They allot certain spectrum to certain companies, and if you haven't figured it out, your parents and your grandparents were watching the idiot box on the spectrum that was opened up 80 years ago, and the radio stations and the TV stations are controlled by five companies, now they're probably controlled by three or two. They have been feeding you lies for decades and decades and decades. You can't broadcast unless the FCC gives you a license. Now what they've done is the most harmful frequencies imaginable. You know, the 2.4 gigahertz, that happens to be the frequency that the water molecules start to rotate on their axis when they're hit with the radio frequency emissions at that particular frequency. Why are they messing with the water molecules? Well, we're at 70% water, and they know what this stuff does. So what the FCC did is they opened up that frequency band, that part of the spectrum, to everybody. You don't need a license to broadcast on it. And you know what that did? That virtually ensures complete proliferation and saturation of radio frequency emissions in that part of the spectrum. In other words, they want to bathe you in the frequency that messes with the water molecules. Is that a good idea? That's not a good idea. Maybe you're not aware of this. So they got you addicted to Wi-Fi and your gadgets. They're doubling down now because they're coming out with a new frequency. Because they claim that you can't get enough of your Netflix and enough of your stupid movies or whatever you have to check that these frequencies are getting congested. There's too much traffic. It's a bunch of freaking hogwash, folks. Everything works just fine right now. The systems that are in place with these towers is so overkill it's not even funny. They could run a hundred thousand times more devices than they're using right now. They got you 
addicted to these devices, now they're going to bring a new technology out. This really scares me to go into this because this is the end. They've opened up, the FCC's opened up the millimeter wave band and they're going to be broadcasting on 60 gigahertz, folks. Wi-Fi right now is using the frequency of water molecules. Their, their rotation on their axis begins at 2.4 gigahertz. In other words, that's, that's the spot on the spectrum of the trillions of frequencies. That's the spot on the spectrum where the maximum dielectric loss of water begins. That's a fancy term for when they start rotating, trying to line up to, to, to keep pace with the alternate, alternating field, electromagnetic field. So it causes water molecules to vibrate on their axis. Well, they're going to use 60 gigahertz for the new 5G and the new Wi-Fi. It's called Y-Gig. Okay? You need to understand something. This stuff is wicked. Because 60 gigahertz is the oxygen molecule absorption spectrum. I repeat that. This is the frequency that the, that the oxygen molecules start reacting to. So they're using Wi-Fi to mess with the water. They're going to use Y-Gig and 5G to mess with the oxygen. Now this crap doesn't travel far, so they got to put them really close together. They're going to put these little transmitters all over the light poles telephone poles, light poles, public buildings, and you've got to put it in your house because the crap's not going to work. And I keep saying crap because this is crap. It's a weapon. And they're going to get you to go to Costco and bring it home in big boxes and you're going to put it all over your house because you're stupid and you're not listening to me. You need to understand something. You need to stop killing yourselves. Okay? That's what these people have managed to get you to do. They have managed to get you to kill yourselves and enjoy it and kill your children and pay for it. Why gig 5G 60 gigahertz? Get that through your skulls. You don't mess with oxygen molecules. Oxygen is in the air. We breathe it. It comes from the trees. Trees make it out of carbon dioxide. I think we've all been taught this. It's two oxygen molecules and they share electrons. When you hit oxygen molecules with 60 gigahertz millimeter wave emissions it affects the orbital properties of the electrons of the oxygen molecules. Now, why is that important? How is oxygen absorbed into your body? Well, it's pretty complicated and it's miraculous what God has done, how He's created our bodies and He's created these mechanisms and He created a molecule called hemoglobin and it binds to the iron. You know that iron is magnetic. Have you ever heard of the word magnetobiology? If any of you out there are physicians, or doctors, or physicists, or biochemists, or any type of researchers, I bet you've never heard of that field of study. I have a bachelor's degree in chemistry, and I have a bachelor's degree in biological science. And when I went to UCI for five years, none of the curriculum included anything remotely close to the interactions of electromagnetic fields with living tissue. They don't want you to know about how this works, because this is a secret stealth weapon that they're touting as the neatest things in sliced bread, it is right now making up the majority of the economy. And if this technology was to be exposed for what it truly is, it would collapse the economy. They've got everything intertwined in this. The pension funds are infested with investments in these companies. They're rolling this out so fast, and they're passing laws at the federal and the state and the local levels to where you can't say no to this crap. And they built this whole infrastructure's legal ability to exist on research that was done in the 1980s and it was passed in 1996 by that dirtbag Bill Clinton. Yes, Bill Clinton signed the Telecom Act. He is the one that put the death knell of humanity. Okay? He's the one. They're using 30-year-old research that was rigged from the get-go and now they're rolling out technology that they've never even publicly released the testing on they know what this stuff does. That's why they're doing it. They know what this stuff is capable of. That's why they're rolling it out. And they used a framework from 30-year-old rigged research 22 years ago to get this thing put in so where the companies that have access to public right-of-ways 
only have to pay a small amount of money because the city has to give them access. And any tower under 150 feet, no one's regulating the emissions. No one's checking the power levels. No one's babysitting these weapons, folks. You're going to bring this crap in your house. They're going to put this stuff outside your house. And it's going to affect the oxygen molecules. Here's what they're going to do. When you start affecting the oxygen molecules' ability to bind to the hemoglobin in your blood, you can't transport the oxygen into your tissues. Okay? It does other things to your body that I'm not going to go into right now. I'll briefly touch on it right now. Actually, I'll tell you real briefly, it also affects your ability to produce vitamin D. It affects your body's ability to produce vitamin D. 60 gigahertz is a weapon. It affects the oxygen molecules and it affects your skin's ability to produce vitamin D. Your skin produces vitamin D when sunlight hits your skin. It, it, it produces a reaction in your skin where, where, whereby your body begins to manufacture vitamin D. It also, the same thing happens when the, when the sunlight goes through your eyes. Okay? That's why they got you wearing sunglasses and contacts. So they got you blocking all the sun. They don't want you in the sun, folks. They want you deficient. I don't want to get off track here. The bottom line is this stuff is a weapon. You need to wake up and you need to understand that it doesn't travel far. Trees block it. The uh, low E film on your windows blocks it. Mylar film blocks it. Metal screens blocks it. You can buy paint that blocks it. Don't bring this crap into your house. Because if you have this stuff in your house, it's a slow kill, folks. Because what's going to happen is you're not going to be able to have the oxygen levels in your blood that your body needs to survive. You're not going to die immediately from this stuff. It's just going to cause all kinds of weird health problems. And guess what they're going to do? It's going to create symptoms, because I know for a fact what this stuff does. There are two locations in the United States where this was rolled out in schools. And it produced paralysis, arrhythmia, neurological problems, problems with tingling in the extremities, people passing out, people having fatigue, malaise, all these bizarre ailments. I guarantee you folks, when they roll this stuff out, they're going to turn it on in such a way that it's going to seem like polio came back. And you know what they got ready for you? A vaccine. What do we hear about all the time on the news now? Vaccines, vaccines, vaccines. I'm in California and guess what? You can't put your kids in one of these government mind control facilities unless you inject them with like 60 shots. Now if you have any brains, you won't go for that and you'll find a way out of it. And you know how to do that. You can homeschool your kids. Or you can get a medical exemption. you got to do what you got to do to protect your children. Now, they are going to roll out a microwave weaponry system that is going to induce symptoms that people are going to think are a new type of virulent strain of polio or some sort of neuroinvasive encephalitis or some sort of paralytic disease that they're going to blame on some newly discovered strain of something and they're going to have a shot ready for you. And they're going to make it mandatory. Mark my words. That's the plan here. Aside from the fact that this stuff's going to make you sick and it's going to screw everybody up, it's going to make a lot of people very wealthy. And it's going to concentrate power because a sick, weak-minded populace becomes servile and slaves really quick. There's a big push to get everybody into the compact cities. There's a big push to build high-density housing. There's a big push to go 10 stories, put Wi-Fi routers everywhere, have free Wi-Fi everywhere, have all these things in place, folks. They're putting chemicals in the water. You've got to filter your water if you're going to drink it. You've got to grow your own food. You can't eat this stuff in the store. You don't know what's in it. Now they've got these weapons that they've put into the classrooms, they've put into the, the schools, they've put them into the, the buses, the trains, the planes. The car's got Wi-Fi in them now. And now you go outside, you, you look at your phone, there's 50 networks when you're walking down the street. There's cell towers everywhere. And then now they put these LED lights in so it's white light at night so you can't sleep. It's messing up your sleep cycle. Folks, wake the heck up. Okay? You're not going to hear this at church. You're not going to hear this at school. You're not going to hear it on TV. TV is a bunch of pornography and crazy movies. The churches are all sold out. They're not talking about nothing. They're just collecting your money and putting you to sleep. And the schools are making everybody stupid. So where are you going to hear this information? On the internet. And you better get with the program before they shut it all down. This is Joan Briano warning you to wake the hell up. Thank you.